Well guys, I want to give a big, big shout out to all those lovely people who have participated in my today's video. Like they are from around the world and thank you very much for all those my lovely, my beautiful friends who have arranged these interviews for me for my video. I believe that in today's age, the meaning of Valentine's for me is you know, it's it's kind of a reminder that you need to take some time out of your busy schedules and your routines to spend time with your loved ones. I believe that that's the true meaning for me. So this Valentine's Day, the main point is to love people, to love everyone around you, to be kind to them because we don't know what they are going through and just be kind to them so they and also um, we don't know what people go through so just make sure you tell people you love them yes keep on loving it's not specifically that i receive any gifts from special gifts or something but um i do like to um you know take some chocolates or um, roses or flowers for my friends and um, also um, give that to my parents and my brother because uh, I think Valentine's can be celebrated with anyone you love. And I also recall a really special memory of mine. I think I was 11 or maybe 10 and uh, it was valentine's day and but my dad picked me up from school and he brought a little you know um, stuffed toy it was a heart and i still have it <laughs> and this year my brother gave me this as a valentine's day gift my best friend she got me flowers and a stuffed toy and i also got her a really cute stuffed toy and chocolate I exchanged chocolate with my other friends and I received chocolates and candy from other friends. I also gave a cute Valentine's Day card to my professor. I like to celebrate uh, Valentine's Day with my loved ones as I said. Um, I uh, We do this thing, um, me and my friends, we uh, make this day galentine instead of valentine's day um and yeah we spend time together and uh, we bring small cards or chocolates for each other and i like to spend it with my family so this year on valentine's day i had to go to university and take a class so i went to take my class and i was able to see my friends and wish them valentine's day so I get to express my love this way as well. So I gave my friends chocolate strawberries, stuffed toys, and a week before or during the week of Valentine's Day, I hang out with my friends. I go on a brunch with them and just hang out and enjoy because it's Valentine's Day. Hello everyone and welcome to my English lesson on using the present continuous tense to describe Valentine's Day celebrations. Yes, we are celebrating Valentine's Day this week and today's video is a very special one because today we are going to explore how we can use this tense to talk about actions and activities that are happening right now or around this special holiday. So let's dive in. Understanding the present continuous tense. Well, friends, I have already done a detailed video on 12 tenses. You can watch that video and you can learn them in just 30 minutes. So, again, we are going to study today. We are going to learn today that what is a present continuous tense. So, the present continuous tense is used to describe actions that are happening at the moment of speaking or around the present time. Now here we shall learn the formula of using the present continuous tense in three different ways. The very first way is the positive form. We will learn in this video that how you can use the present continuous tense by forming the positive sentences. 
Number two is the negative form and number three is the question form which is also known as the interrogative form. Now I'm going to put the formula of using the present continuous tense in all the three forms which are the positive form, the negative form and the question or the interrogative form on screen for you to get the idea how you can use the present continuous tense. Now we will learn how to use the present continuous tense for Valentine's Day activities. Now people are exchanging Valentine's Day cards and gifts. Couples are going out for dinners at fancy restaurants. Children are making Valentine's Day crafts and decorations at school. Friends are organizing Valentine's Day parties and gatherings. Now let's see how people celebrate Valentine's Day in Romania. And the interesting thing is that they do not celebrate Valentine's Day on the 14th Feb. Let's find out when do they celebrate them, if not on 14th Feb. Hello, my name is Veronica and I'm from Romania. Um, we celebrate the Day of Love on 24th of February. This is a traditional holiday in our country called Dragobete. Dragobete was a mythology character who protect love. And Dragobete, Dragobete is also associated with the arrival of spring, fertility and the rebirth of nature. Um, I always receive um, spring flowers and on this special day, 24 February. And how do we celebrate? Well, Dragobete is about being tender to your significant one and um, show them your appreciation and uh, your love, not through material objects, just to be there, to give them your attention and your presence. Dragobetele saruta fetele. That means Dragobete kisses the girls. Now we'll study how to use the present continuous tense for expressing emotions and feelings. I am feeling excited about spending Valentine's Day with my loved ones. She is feeling grateful for the thoughtful gifts she received. They are feeling happy and satisfied in each other's company. We are feeling blessed to have each other on this special day. Now I have some lovely people with me in my video today who are going to give you some special messages on this Valentine's Day celebrations. So let's hear them. Assalamu alaikum ji hum 14 february valentine days ke bare mein ek aur public opinion jante hain hamare sath ek bhai maujood hain assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam ji sabse pehle apna naam batayein mera naam mohammad ali ali sab 14th february valentine days ko kis tarah dekhte hain aap main valentine day ko is tarah dekhta hu ki ek acha din hai lekin isko aap acche tarike se jo hai aapko kabhi gift mila is pe हाँ गिफ्ट मिला है लेकिन मुझे तो अपनी मिसिस की तरफ से गिफ्ट मिला है ज़बरदस्त और आपने कभी मनाया भी अपने प्यारों के साथ जी जी मैंने अपनी मिसिस के साथ अपने बच्चों के साथ घर में ये मनाया तो वैसे भी कहते हैं कि वो आपकी जो मिसिस है वो सारा साल घर के काम काज बच्चों को संभालना ठीक है तो उसको भी थोड़ा सा मुझे मौका मिलना चाहिए कि आप उसकी दिल जोई करें बड़े तो उसके, उसके लिए एक अच्छा दिन है कि आप अपने मिसिस को गिफ्ट दें फूल दें गिफ्ट दें ठीक है कोई सूट वगैरह दे के दें या कोई घुमाने फिराने में दे दें तो अच्छा है ज़बरदस्त हो लेकिन असल कैसे हैं सब लोग ठीक हैं जैसे कि चौदह फरवरी का दिन आ रहा है और वैलेंटाइन डेज को लोग बड़े जोशो खरोसा मनाते हैं पूरी दुनिया में इसके बारे में हम पब्लिक ओपिनियन देखते हैं कि वो इसको किस तरह दिखते हैं असल सबसे पहले अपना नाम बताएँ जहेब अली जहेब भाई प्यार मोहब्बत के बारे में आप क्या आपके ख्याल आते हैं नहीं ये अच्छी चीज़ है प्यार मोहब्बत होनी चाहिए दुनिया में अच्छा तो ये चौदह फरवरी के बारे में कुछ बताएं इस दिन को आप किस तरह देखते हैं ये वैलेंटाइन डे का दिन है प्यार का दिन है अगर अच्छी तरह मनाया जाए तो ये बहुत अच्छी चीज़ है अच्छा और आपको कभी इस दिन पे कोई गिफ्ट वगैरह मिला जी बिल्कुल मिला लास्ट ईयर शादी हुई है फर्स्ट टाइम वैलेंटाइन डे मनाया और आपको अपने प्यारों के साथ मनाने का मौका भी मिला जी बिल्कुल मिला मैं भाई बहन के साथ भी मिलाता हूँ सबके साथ मिलाता हूँ और आप यानी इसके हवाले से क्या पैगाम देते हैं लोगों को 
जी बहुत अच्छा दिन है अगर इतना से मिलाया जाए मिल जुल के मिलाया जाए तो बहुत अच्छा दिन है चला जी बहुत शुक्रिया learn how we can use the present continuous tense in a negative form. She is not receiving any Valentine's Day gifts this year. They are not going out for a dinner tonight. He is not writing a letter to his partner. We are not spending Valentine's Day together as planned. The children are not making Valentine's Day crafts at school. Now let's check out what Arusha is going to tell us about Valentine's Day celebrations in Sri Lanka. I hope most of you will get a surprise. Actually, Valentine's Day is a not a very special day for me. I don't celebrate normally Valentine's Day. Uh, no, uh, this time not. I didn't receive any gift for Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, actually in Sri Lanka, uh, we don't uh, celebrate Valentine's Day normally. There's no very huge celebrations or exchanging gifts or something. Now we're going to learn how to use the present continuous tense in questions or in interrogative form. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Where are they going to celebrate Valentine's Day? Who is he spending Valentine's Day with? How are you feeling about Valentine's Day this year? Well, friends, the trend has been changed now. Over the years, people do not just celebrate the Valentine's Day like couples, but they do celebrate the Valentine's Day with their families, with their friends. Let's find out how this family celebrates the Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a very normal day for me, but nowadays it's been a trend of celebrating small little occasions like a festival. So following the trend, yes, we do celebrate Valentine's Day like other events. We exchange gifts, we exchange flowers, we exchange chocolates. And I think that small little tiny things makes us happy. These events are a reminder. So Valentine's Day is a reminder of love, kindness and sacrifice. The sacrifice of St. Valentine. And because of St. Valentine, we celebrate this day. It's a beautiful day to remember each other, to express our love and to exchange gifts. We all should celebrate it. And there you have it. My lesson on using the present continuous tense to describe Valentine's Day celebrations. By using this tense, you can vividly or clearly describe the actions, activities and emotions surrounding this special holiday. So whether you are exchanging gifts going on a wonderful dinner, or simply spending time with your loved ones. Remember to use the present continuous tense to narrate your Valentine's Day experiences. Thanks for watching and happy Valentine's Day to all of you.